Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's Charming Data video, we're going to see a multi-page Dash app that highlights the difference in performance between Pandas and Polars, two of the most popular data analysis libraries in Python. This Dash app was built by Chad, a data consultant who helps small businesses automate their processes and wrangle their data. Hey, Chad, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Adam? I'm good. Thank you so much. So, Chad, um, before you dive deep into this uh, app, um, what's the reason for creating it? Like, where did you get the idea from? Yeah, so I've been playing around a lot with Polars recently, and I also love Dash. So I wanted to make this app and show the comparison as I've come from Pandas, another great data frame library into Polars, and be able to show an interactive comparison here with Dash. So that's it. You're a completely uh, changed man of Polish believers, or are you going to st still use pandas every now and then? You know, I I am kind of converted. I <laughs> used to be really big into pandas. Uh, that's kind of all I knew. And, uh, you know, Polish is kind of the upstart uh, underdog, if you will. But it, it's really great. I really enjoy the syntax. It's a clean API. And... Uh, you yeah. can do a lot with it, and it's a lot faster than Pandas in most situations. All right. Well, I know that this app has three pages. Um, can you let's let's walk through all of them? But can you start with the minimal Dash app page, please? Yeah, perfect. So this comes from the Dash documentation. There, there's a a basic app with this filter and a graph. And what I've done is just rewrite this with Polars instead of Pandas. You can see here the pandas code is commented out, replaced by polars. You can see a lot of it's pretty similar. Just read CSV. Uh, this syntax is a little bit different here, getting that unique country list for the dropdown and then filtering the graph here. Cool. Yeah, what I really like about this part is um, how you, you put the comments there uh, of pandas. So then it's very easy to compare. Oh, this is how I would read a unique column in pandas. This is how we do it in Polars. This is how you do like a filter on the country column. And this is how we do it in Polars. So, so thank you for that. Um, well, this this comparison is, is probably a good segue to the next page where you talk about recipes, uh, how to use pandas versus Polars, specifically in Dash apps, right? Exactly. Yeah, this is a cheat sheet. If you have a Dash app you've already built, maybe with pandas, and you want to experiment, you want to try Polars out, this might be a good place to help you get started. So you can see, you know, just some of the basics here with importing, uh, reading a CSV, what that looks like in Polars versus Pandas. And then um, there's some more Dash specific things like getting unique values from a column. This is great, uh, like we saw earlier for that dropdown. Uh, lots of different uh, cheat, cheat or items here. And then you've got uh, this uh, dash ag grid at the bottom creating oh, nice. a data frame uh, from a dictionary here oh that's a good one yeah yeah good yeah, yeah the community members use that a lot so oh, cool thank you yeah. and this one uh boy data frame to dict it will not work and i uh i played around with that for too long trying to figure it out and uh so hopefully that saves someone a, a couple hours of time who would have thought well you're just really just adding an s there and removing the exactly. records <laughs> Cool. All right. And then we have our last page. Yeah. So this is the speed comparison page. And uh, it allows you to run queries between pandas and polars and then see how they do. So this first one, everyone should be familiar with the Titanic data set. That's a common one, just reading it in and seeing how they compare. So you can see the pandas time versus the polars time and how much faster four times in this one is two times, four times faster Polars is. Wow, that's, and this is just for reading a CSV sheet and it's not, it's probably not that, yeah, the Titanic CSV sheet is not that big. Well, what about other examples between the pandas and Polars? Sure, so there's uh, some other, you know, just common filtering and selecting here. We can see, you know, again, this isn't a very big data set, so it's not, not a big deal, you know, 0 0.00 seconds. But when we get up, up to these, uh, this is a subset of the TCPH uh, benchmark test. And when we get up to this, it becomes more important those times do. 
and we can see some of these bigger queries here. There's a lot going on. Uh, and with this last one, this takes advantage of Polar's lazy execution. And we're going to see just how much faster Polar's is kind of blowing pandas out of the water with this. 20 times faster. My God. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, this is significant. Like if you're using a big data set or a big query, it's a difference between a 60 second query and what's 20 times th uh, three seconds. Yeah, absolutely. It's and if you know, if you have a Dash app and users are waiting on a query to run because it's written in pandas and maybe it's slower than it could be, uh, this could be a big performance boost for your app and for your users. Really cool. Thank you, Chad, for, for putting this together, for highlighting the differences between uh, pandas and, and, and polars. Um, I'm really happy you made this app because I, I often get questions about polars and is, is it better? How is it better? How can we use it? Um, and this app makes it a lot easier to see the advantages of polars and, and understand the syntax. Um, so as a reminder, Chad is a data consultant, and he's happy to answer any questions you might have about Polars, Pandas, or this Dash app. You can find his LinkedIn profile under the video alongside the link to this app that is live online. Uh, don't forget to watch more videos and um, learn more about Python, data visualization, generative AI. Join the Charming Data community by clicking the link on top. Chad, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Absolutely. Thank you, Adam.